Episode 9 is set to have many different twists and turns, as well as surprises in this movie when it comes to the characters of Kylo Ren, Rey, Luke, and even Snoke. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people, including myself, am very curious about when it comes to this movie has all to do with the character of Supreme Leader Snoke and Kylo Ren, and exactly, you know, the whole entire concept of J.J. Abrams pretty much exploring different aspects of their past either in the movie or of course the episode 9 visual dictionary which should drop either a month or two after the release of the movie and honestly some things you know in the last jedi visual dictionary are a whole lot more interesting than what's currently in the film now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie when it comes to some of the set leaks the set designs the concept art and storyboard descriptions etc one of which has all to do with supreme leader snoke and of course the whole entire concept of Snoke's master. Specifically, a description of a diagram of Snoke's lightsaber that is said to have a black grip with gold, with gold trims around the edges. It's said that the lightsaber was handed down to him by his master before his death. It's described that Snoke's master was an ancient dark side user, generations before the Galactic Civil War. The saber blade by Snoke's master is said to have a white kyber crystal inside and was used in many wars in the past. It's implied that Snoke's master was alive during the Old Republic era, which is said to be in the works of becoming canon under Disney. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we've been hearing about Snoke's lightsaber playing a role in some way, shape, or form in Episode 9, most likely in the form of a relic and or artifact that Kylo Ren now owns. Now, as you all know, Snoke is, of course, a very mysterious character. He's a pretty much an enigma figure. We don't really know too much about him. His backstory is very clouded, and we're going to be learning a whole lot more details about this character come November of this year by the time that the Age of Resistance comic line drops, which is going to give us a lot of shocking new details, ironically just before the release of Episode 9. You know, there's something strange going on right around that timeline for sure. So, Snoke's lightsaber that was actually handed down to him by his own master. Now, this is where things get very interesting. Now, this movie isn't going to explore too much about his master, just reference material about Snoke having a master, either in the movie or in the visual dictionary of Star Wars Episode Nine. So with that being said, this actual lightsaber is said to have a white kyber crystal. Now this lines directly up with what we heard a couple of weeks ago about Snoke actually owning a white bladed lightsaber. Now that would definitely tell us that it is of course a kyber crystal that is pure and one that has actually not been used by a force user in order to make it bleed. In case you guys did not know, that's a new thing in canon right now where a dark side user is able to make a kyber crystal bleed, hence why it turns red. That's exactly how Darth Vader turned his kyber crystal into a red one. It used to be green from Karak and Phila's actual kyber crystal. If you guys read the Vader comics, you will learn that. So Snoke's master actually having a very light point in episode 9 is rather intriguing for sure. We do know that Snoke actually knows the whole entire idea of what masters love to see in their apprentice. Raw, you know, power and whatnot. So with that being said... I am very interested to see exactly what JJ is going to explore when it comes to the character of Snoke, Kylo, Rey, Luke Skywalker, you name it, either in the movie or in the visual dictionary of this film, which like I say should drop a month or two after uh, after the release of episode 9, maybe even before for all we know. It all depends on how they want to market this thing. Because sometimes the visual dictionaries, they do reveal a lot of things about some of the characters in the movie. So the next thing that I do want to go over is how Snoke's master is apparently a actual dark side user, not necessarily a Sith, that was actually alive generations before the Galactic Civil War. And it's implied that he was alive during the age of the Old Republic. Now, the Old Republic, there's a lot of talk out there that Disney and Lucasfilm are trying to make that era of Star Wars canon in the Star Wars franchise, which could be a major hint and or indicator that the new Star Wars trilogy coming our way by the creators of Game of Thrones is going to be based within the Old Republic era. And that, to me, I think is rather exciting that there is a lot of talk out there that they want to canonize, right? Basically, the whole entire idea of the Old Republic. I don't know about you guys, but if you're very, pretty much, you know, 
not too much aware, not too well aware about the Old Republic era. It is a very interesting era in the Star Wars franchise. You know, you got Darth Malgus, you got, of course, uh, other Sith Lords out there like Darth Sion. There's a lot of Sith Lords that a lot of people love. Darth Nihilus. I mean, it really does scream, you know, what the guys over at Game of Thrones could possibly do. So Snoke's master, like I say, having a light role in this movie just by use of reference material to me is just even all the more exciting by learning just a little bit more about Snoke's backstory and where he comes from and exactly pretty much, you know, where he learned everything prior to, you know, training Kylo Ren and being a master of Kylo Ren. Like I say, every Dark Side user always has a master, and every master has an apprentice, so that's exactly what they want to explore more in the Episode 9 film and or the visual dictionary of this movie, like I said, which should drop during the fall of 2019. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.